Ernie was a frog who loved mud. And he lived in a hole on the bank of a pond that was full of the stuff. Brown, squidgy, slimy, oozy mud. Every morning, he'd do his exercises. He'd get out of his hole, he'd run across the pond, One summer morning, he raced out of his hole, jumped over his tyre, and he didn't go splosh into lovely squelchy mud. He went boing onto really hard ground. Silv! Silv! He called. Silv was the frog who lived in the hole next to his. Silv! The mud's dried up. I don't want to live here anymore. There's no water, there's no pondweed, and there's no mud. Right! said Sylve when she bounded over. Then we must find somewhere else to live. We'll pack our rucksacks and we'll see what's on the other side of the bushes. Soon the frogs found themselves going down a little path, pushing the leaves aside. Farther from home than they'd ever been before, when suddenly they heard a flip-flop, flip-flop, flip-flop noise of great big feet. And then they saw two enormous podgy feet dressed in sandals coming towards them. And on the end of the feet were two podgy legs with baggy trousers on them. Yeah, said Ernie. Is it a pig? No, said Sylvie. It's a person. Suddenly, the person who was carrying an enormous bundle of shopping dropped a can of baked beans on his foot. Nah! Ah! He went, and when he did that, all the shopping started to topple out of his hands. He grabbed at a yoghurt, but it went <laughs> all over his shirt, and he was grabbing at tomatoes and squeezing them all by mistake. No! said the person. Fat tulip, you are the clumsiest person in the world. And he gathered up all his shopping, and then he staggered off down the path. But he'd left behind, on the path, a bag of crisps. Ernie waited until the person called Fat Tulip had disappeared, and then he hopped out and jumped onto the crisps. They made a good noise. Sylvie joined him. And they both jumped up and down together. It was like a frog trampoline. They jumped higher and higher and higher and higher until suddenly... Ah! All the crisps have gone bang, said Ernie. Someone's shooting at us. And he raced off down the path after Sylve. The two frogs hurled themselves into a green leafy bush. They shot right through it and landed in a garden. Oh, this place looks great, said Sylv. I bet there's a load of muddy and wet places round here. Look at that! Sylv hopped through the garden. Look, it's a little house. We could live here. Yeah, said Ernie. It's very nice, but it's not wet and muddy, is it? And Ern went <coughs> to the compost heap. Oh, yes, yeah, very nice, said Sylv, but it's a bit smelly, isn't it? And she went <coughs> to the well. Oh, yeah, said Ern, it's very nice, but it's a bit deep and dangerous, isn't it? Just at that moment. <coughs> What's that, said Sylv? I think I can hear a noise. It sounds like swishing water. And I think it's coming from the house. Ernie and Sylv hopped up onto the kitchen window and they peered inside. 
Chugga 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 chugga. There was a machine that was going round spinning a load of clothes and they were all wet and bubbly. Chugga 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 chugga. And look, said Sylph, there's that person called Fat Tulip. Fat Tulip came lumbering into the kitchen. He opened the door, pulled out his clothes and took them outside into the garden to dry. Come on, said Sylph. Let's take a closer look at that machine. And they hopped inside. But where's all the water gone, said Ernie. I wanted to go for a swim in there. And Sylph said that he should hop inside and she'd try and turn the machine on. So Ernie jumped into the washing machine and <laughs> went the door as Sylvie flipped it shut. Immediately, water started to pour onto Ernie's head. <laughs> oh, oh, this is fun, he said. But Sylvie couldn't hear him because the door was shut. And then water started to pour all over his body and up his armpits and all over his legs. Oh, I like this, he said. But Sylvie couldn't hear him because the door was shut. And then slowly the machine started to turn round. And Ernie went... But Sylvie couldn't hear him. The door was shut. And then it started to turn faster and faster and Ernie didn't like it so much anymore and he stopped shouting and waving and he was going oh stop it oh, oh. but Sylvie couldn't hear him the door was shut and Sylvie was going ah, and Ernie was going ah, ah. Sylvie was going ah, ah, ah. After a while, Sylph thought, Oh, Ernie doesn't look very well. I, I think maybe I'll just stop the machine. He does look a bit yellow and sick and frightened. I'll just have a tug on the door. And she pulled the catch and opened the door and water went all over the kitchen floor in torrents with little urns, arms and legs waving and kicking around in it. And the water went under the cupboards and under the cooker and under the fridge and all over the shopping which Fat Tulip had left lying on the floor. And then the machine started to judder and it started to shake and then it began to topple over and it went crash on the floor. <laughs> Fat Tulip, who was outside, heard the noise and rushed in to see what the matter was. He saw the water all over the place and he saw the washing machine all smashed to bits on the floor. And then he saw two little frogs on the floor who hopped up and jumped into his bowl of washing up water. Fat Tulip waded across the kitchen. He rolled up his sleeves and then he plunged his great big pink podgy hands into the washing up. He'd got something. He'd got something small and round and slippery and green. But it wasn't a small, round, green, slippery frog. It was a small, round, green, slippery bar of soap which shot out of his hands. So he started throwing all the washing up out onto the kitchen floor. Crash, 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 it went. Until there was only one small piece of washing up left. Aha, frogs, he said. I've got you now. And just at that moment, he slipped on the soap and fell bang on the kitchen floor. Whop. Come on, Sylph, said Ernie. Let's escape. And they hopped out of the washing up, through the kitchen window, and landed on the path with Ernie spitting out soapy water. Whop. Whop, said Ernie. That was a close shave. And then he pointed in amazement. Look at that. <laughs> he was pointing at a little round pond that was full of mud and water and lily pads and pondweed. Oh, Sylvie, he said. Just what we've been looking for. <laughs> And they both dived into the pond. That evening, Fat Tulip was still mopping up his kitchen. Not ever going to go for a swim in a washing machine again. <laughs> Wop, 